Today, I'm going to be making Wilton's official chocolate buttercream frosting recipe. So, let's get on with the ingredients. A half a cup of butter, and I'm using salted butter here. Four cups of icing sugar, and this is also called confectioner sugar. Three quarters of a cup of cocoa powder. A half a cup of vegetable shortening. Three to four tablespoons of regular milk and one teaspoon of clear vanilla. Since we are using cocoa powder in this recipe and this is going to be a dark frosting, if you don't have clear vanilla, you can just use regular vanilla because it will not change the color at all. But since I want to do Wilton's official recipe, I am using clear vanilla in this recipe. So those are the ingredients, so let's get started. All right, so our first step is to get our shortening and our butter into our bowl and what we're going to do is just combine these two fats just to begin with we want to get those you know really well combined this is a really simple simple recipe but it's nice to actually see it happening in front of you if you've never made it before make sure you get everything off the sides of your bowl just like that. And there we go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add in a little bit of the cocoa powder. Then I'm going to slowly get that in on speed number one. Number one. I don't want a dust cloud. So I'm just going to very, very gently get that in. At this point, I'm going to take my vanilla and just get that in there as well. That will help loosen this up. Okay, and what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to mix this for well, maybe 30 seconds or so, just so that it you know, gets well incorporated. All right. And then we're going to get the rest of our cocoa in there. And this is getting very, very rich already. You can see how rich this is. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. Hopefully it is. So I'll just keep going at this until it's fully combined and then I'll come back. All right, that's good. And now, I'm gonna start putting in our icing sugar. So I'm just gonna put this in a little bit at a time. So there's our first, our first cup. Speed number one again. You don't want a dust cloud. Now this is going to get very, very dry. And that's why we have our milk. And I will be adding that in very soon. Alright, now we'll put in another cup. I'm using a half cup measure here. So there's a total of two cups now. And I'll slowly incorporate this. So once it's done, I'll come back. I will show you each addition of icing sugar also called confectioner sugar. Somebody asked me on my channel a while ago if confectioner sugar and icing sugar were the same thing and yes they are. I'll put a note on the on this video about that so that it's more clear. Sometimes when I'm talking, if I'm talking too quickly or if English is not somebody's first language, it's a little bit hard to understand the ingredients sometimes, so that's why I always list things on screen, so that you can actually pause your video if you wish to take notes. Alright, so now we'll do our next, next addition. So that's about three cups there. Okay, and then I'm going to speed number one again. And I'm going to start mixing this in. 
Now the directions that Wilton suggests is that you put in all of your icing sugar first and then start adding in your milk. However, if you do find that your mixer is having a little bit of a problem, you can add in a tablespoon of milk at this point here just to loosen it up a little bit. Do not put all of the milk in at once because it's more of a, more of a suggestion. You might only use two tablespoons of the milk. You may use three or you may use four. So you don't want to pour it all in at once and then have your frosting too, you know, too soft and too liquidy. So I'll keep going at this and I'll be back in a few seconds. All right, so I've been going a little while longer. You can see that this is getting very, very thick right now. So at this point, when you see that your mixer is having a little bit of a problem, there's no point in putting extra stress on your mixer. So I'm going to get in I'm going to put in two tablespoons of milk and that is going to loosen this up quite a bit and that's just going to make it easier for our mixer. And you can see that two tablespoons of milk has really really loosened this up. Okay, that's good. And now I'm going to add in our last cup of icing sugar. And there we go. And now we're just going to mix this until well combined. Now you see even at this point, even though it looks very dry, you don't want to add any more milk yet. You want to really get this combined so that you can really kind of look at it and assess for yourself what's going on with this. So what happens if you added a little bit too much milk? What would you do? all of a sudden it would be too runny. So what would you do? Well, you could add in some more icing sugar and that will help your problem right there. So that's what you would do. You can see now that it's, it's very, 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 very thick. So at this point, I am gonna add in one more and we'll mix that up. Now I could whip through this very, very quickly in, you know, probably two minutes, but then you're not getting the, you know, the full effect of this recipe because this is a single recipe just about making this frosting or icing. And so if this were a two minute video, you know, you might go away and say, well, I didn't really, you know, you didn't really get the, the full, you know, experience of seeing it made. You know, if I was doing a cake as well in this video, then I would be skipping through this much quicker. There we go. We can see that it's still, you know, it's getting there. It's, it's really, really nice right now. But I'm going to add in that last tablespoon of milk. There we go. And we'll mix that up. And I wish you could smell this. It smells really, really good. This is a very, very rich chocolate buttercream recipe. I don't know if the camera's picking that up, but oh, this is amazing. And what I will do is I will make some chocolate cupcakes and we'll use this in that recipe in that video and there we go oh boy that looks great and there we have it you can see how nice this is hopefully the camera can pick that up you can see how oh that is beautiful beautiful stuff 
So there we go. So that's it for this recipe. So that's Wilton's official chocolate buttercream frosting recipe. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you like my videos. And that's it for this video. So I'll see you next time.